Once you've heard Ambisonics, it's like, why would you listen any other way? I'm a producer, composer, and I love writing in this format because you have so much more space to mix in. Ambisonics expands into three dimensions. Um, it's a way of capturing a full spherical scene of audio. Um, so, you know, it captures forwards, backwards, left and right, up and down, and it captures them all equally. If it's stereo the client wants, I still mix in Ambisonics because Ambisonics allows you to output at any format at the end of it. I managed to get hold of some Ambisonic sound files and I was blown away by them. The sound of them was so good that I stopped everything I was doing. Uh, I, th I thought, I'm not going to do this mix. I am going to mix it in Ambisonics. As you can see, this is a bit of a pain to put in your front lounge. There's 32 satellites, and four subs, one's underneath my seat. That's very important because we hear sound from all around, and a lot of that is from reflections from the floor. Those reflections help in uh, finding out where sounds are coming from. The easiest way to listen to it right now is binaurally. Binaural isn't ambisonics, but it, ambisonics doesn't take much processing power to decode to binaural on the fly. So you put your headphones on and you can pan the image with a mouse, with your finger, head mounted display, whatever you're on, and the audio image will rotate accordingly. One of the sweet things about it is, if you hear a sound, say it's from over there, every one of these speakers is playing a different copy of that sound with different frequency and phase and volume. You wouldn't hear one sound that comes from only over there. There'd be reflections from everywhere. And for me, that's what I like about Ambisonics. It gives you that kind of a sense of space. It puts you inside that space. 